All right, so I'm gonna do something a little bit different here. Hopefully I have the GoPro on. If you can see me in the reflection, this is pretty funny. I got like a reverse mohawk. But uh, anyway, we're setting up the sauna room again here. And I had a problem with, um, I had a heater out in this sauna. And <clears throat> I was diagnosing that. And when I was diagnosing it, I thought of something that I would share with you guys. Now I've had a lot of building, or not a lot, but there's been probably three or four building biologists that see my EMF stuff and thank me for it or say that I do a decent job or whatever. I don't claim to be a building biologist in any fashion whatsoever. Um, but I've had a couple, one or two building biologists that um, say you shouldn't worry about magnetic fields in saunas because <clears throat> they're DC current and DC current doesn't affect the body in the same way that AC current does. And now there are certain theories that support that and say that that would be accurate. However, one of the things is just because a building biologist has gone to school and has training on how to assess a home electrical system for EMF doesn't necessarily mean that they're aware of every single type of transformer. Like just because there's a step down transformer in the power supply in a sauna doesn't mean that every sauna is DC. And so what I wanted to share with you guys is this. If a particular sauna was DC, you would not have AC power at the heaters. So I have this heater unplugged and I was diagnosing it. We've got this little meter on DC right now. We're showing nothing. If we switch to AC, we can see that we've got 115 volts. So what does that mean? That means as soon as we plug in this cable, that there are 115 volts of AC current circulating throughout that ceramic emitter. And so I would like to caution you guys against this type of uh, thinking, you know, nothing against building biologists. I think, you know, as a whole, they're trying to do a very good job of keeping people, you know, sleeping better, keeping them safer in homes and stuff like that. But for the building biologists that are suggesting you shouldn't worry about magnetic fields in infrared saunas, because it's DC current, it's just not correct. There are a bunch of saunas that have step-down transformers in them or all types of variations in the power supply, but they still have AC current driving all the way to the heaters. So just because you don't see a giant plug like this and just because you see small gauge wire like this with little clips, doesn't necessarily mean that it's DC current. Uh, you can have thin gauge wire and have plenty of AC current with enough um, you know, power or amperage or however you'd like to describe it, heading directly to the heaters. And then what happens is that creates AC oscillating current at point of body contact. And so this is why we kind of, you know, we take this a little bit more seriously than some folks, but there's been many, many, many comments on YouTube. I avoid commenting on them because unless you're actually checking it yourself, you wouldn't know. So just food for thought, guys.